today we've had a strong uh, magnitude 5.4 earthquake about 200 miles south of Beijing as you can see right here 5.4 and uh, it's not that far we'll see the shake map but you know usually South Korea doesn't have earthquakes from what I've been seeing but there is right here in the border of North Korea with uh, China a super volcano Mount Baekdu now what's happened here this is the aerial of it this is the topography of it okay and uh, going back to the aerial we see that we have liquefaction you can see here there is liquefaction because it seems to be low-lying uh, landslide it doesn't see it doesn't see here but we do have liquefaction and you can see this area here it must have rivers as well you can see rivers here there's another one here and we know from geology 101 every river is a fault line uh, you can see the uh, deltas here formed by that uh, muddy water coming from the rivers into the yellow sea and this is the uh, frequency shake map it stops here USGA stops it there and this is South Korea North Korea and uh, let's see where the border is that's the border okay Mount Peck to the super volcanoes right around here that river that where that river area is right here and let's go to this area here uh, Mount Peck to some call it uh, Baker Mount or whatever Peck to and um, it's an active stratovolcano on the Chinese North Korean border It's called the Chinese Changai Mountain the tallest mountain of the back to Daegan and Changwa Mountain here it is that's it's got a, a lake in the middle of the caldera as you can see and in the past it had a VE6 uh, from what I saw VE6 uh, super eruption going to the geology of it geologic history geologic origin, origin of Mount Peck 2 remains a mystery the two leading theories are first a hot spot formation and second an uncharted portion of the Pacific plate sinking beneath Mount Peck 2 and we know that it is inflating beginning about five million years ago Peck 2 mountain erupted releasing a series of basaltic lava flows that formed a lava plateau the construction of the cone here we are and that's the lake in it that's the relief map of the volcano began about a million years ago as the eruptive material transitioned into trachytic pyroclastic lava flows during the cone construction stage major plinian type eruptions occurred uh, the last one 24 and a half thousand years ago and deposited ash in the Japan Sea the cones growth has halted by two widely recognized major explosive eruptions the Tian Wan Fang eruption and the Millennium eruptions okay a mount, the mountains caldera was created in 946 by the colossal VEI 6 eruption Millennium or Tian Chi eruption one of the most powerful eruptions in the last 5,000 years compared to the 2030 AD eruption of Lake Taipo of New Zealand that's the North Island of New Zealand and the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora the eruption whose tephra has been found in the south part of Hokkaido in Japan and as far away as Greenland destroyed much of the volcano summit leaving a caldera that today is filled by Heaven Lake we're talking about Mount Peck too and according to the Korean historic record in 1946, thunders from heaven's drum were heard in the city of Kaesong, where in the capital of Goryeo, that's the old Korea, about uh, 450 kilometers, 280 miles south of the volcano. The event reportedly terrified King Jeonjong so much that convicts were pardoned and set free. And according to the Hongbuksa Temple's historic records on November 3rd, white ash rain fell in Nara, Japan 
about 680 miles southeast from the mountain. Three months later, February 7, 19, uh, 947, explosive noises were reported in the city of Kyoto, Japan, about 620 miles southeast of Baekdu. So, uh, later history, Mount Baekdu had at least three smaller eruptions, 1668, uh, 1702, and 1903 likely formed the Bagua Miao Ingdenbreit and Wu Hao Ji fine pumice and Liu Huai Ji tough ring. I'm only going to say Ni Hao, Ni Hao Ma, Chinese. I am not going to repeat these words. Forget it. So that's the nearby super volcano there, right here. Okay, and uh, if you pull out, we see that it is around the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire, obviously. But that's a surprise because it's so close to Beijing. Obviously, I believe that they must have felt in Beijing right there as well. Only uh, from what are we, I think 42 people reported feeling it. 42, yes. But there was liquefaction. Okay. Limited area affected, limited population exposed. Last slide, limited or no area. So that's what's happened just south of uh, Beijing, Peking, and uh, I believe that they were shaken. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.